We got a box from McFarland in it. I know what's in it. And if you can read the label, you probably know what's in it too. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna cut this open. I'm excited that this box has arrived. This is something that I'm adding to my collection. So I actually have two different ones in here. Pull one out, I don't know which one I'm pulling first, okay. Oh, first one we got is Mr. Alice Cooper. Check out that box though. Normally I'm out of box collector with my figures because I don't buy them for resale. I buy them because I enjoy them. But that is friggin' awesome, look at that. He's got the blood on his shirt, you see his snake, the classic top hat. Uh, the black leather pants. It comes with the stand. You can see the stand in there. I don't think I'm going to open it. I, I really dig in the boxes, so I think I'm going to leave these ones in the box. Plus, my case is really full, so until I get another case, this will prevent dust from getting on them. It comes with a microphone. On the back, it's Alice Cooper Paranormal. I do have that album somewhere. This is an 8,000 piece limited edition figure. The album is 2017. This is pretty awesome. I'm excited to add this to my collection. That is amazing. And it looks like actually, like I said, I don't want to open it because I don't have anywhere to store them. But if you look, you can see right there, right there, there's an Alice Cooper card in the back with it has a picture that's the same as this figure. So that's friggin' awesome. So I'm sure you can guess what the other one is if you knew about this release. But let's snatch that other one out of there. They were packaged really well too. Ooh, so nice, look at that. Mr. Ozzy Osbourne. He's got his mic. Uh, he's got his cane right there. Same thing in the back, let me see. Uh, it is the same thing in the back right here. It's harder to see because he has wings, but there is a card back there which you can see has the big wings right there. This is friggin' awesome. Wow. Look at that face with his screaming face. And Alice, you can see Alice, if you look really closely, has his makeup on. These are awesome. I am not disappointed. This one's limited to 7,500. Alice was an 8,000. But Ozzy is a 7,500. And Ordinary Man is the album on the back. I believe this could have been one of the pop albums that, um, is this one of the pop albums that Funko did? I'm pretty sure this is one of the pops we have, but is this one of the, I don't know, mine are over there, but it's hard to see. But either way, these are friggin' awesome. I'm very excited to add these to my collection. The boxes are perfectly mint, which is, kind of what I, you know, was hoping by ordering them and not having to hunt for them in the store. And look how nice they look. Two awesome figures I'm adding to my collection. Did anybody else snag any of these? I got mine at McFarland. They had a special where if you bought two, you got a little bit of a discount, I guess. But it didn't matter. I was gonna buy both of them anyways. But let me know, did you grab either one of these? I'm a bigger Alice fan than I am an Ozzy fan. I know people don't realize that because they hear me talk about Ozzy and say a lot about Ozzy. And Ozzy has nine million Funko Pops and Alice only has two. So, you know, you hear me say a lot more about Ozzy, but I am a bigger Alice Cooper fan than I am an Ozzy fan. I have seen Alice in concert at least a dozen times, if not more. And I've seen Mr. Ozzy Osbourne like four or five times. I do remember the most memorable show, besides one of the OzFests that we went to, where it was him, Lita Ford, Anthrax, bunch of people, I think it was back in either the 80s or the 90s. God forbid, I can't remember the exact date. But the other one that we went to that was really crazy was we went and seen Ozzy, and I don't know if you know who White Lion is. Okay, they were like a hair metal band, and Ozzy was a little harder, right? They got booed off the stage, sadly. I loved White Line, but I have a variety of music and I loved my hair metal bands. Yeah, they had them open for Ozzy, which just wasn't a good fit. It was one or two bands I've seen boot off stage. Well, unless you count Guns N' Roses, because Axel's an ass. But either way, I mean, but you know, the music makes up for it, right? With Alice, I think one of the most memorable moments at a concert was we went for one of my birthdays. 
it was before Spectre was born, so I want to say I was probably 20 or 22, 20, 22, uh, because I know it wasn't my 21st birthday, so it was one of those two, I'm sure, and we went to see Alice, and we had 16th row, and when we got there, we did, uh, where you pick up the tickets once you get there, so when we got there, my mom, because it was my mom, my dad, because they were fans too. That's how I found out who Alice Cooper was. My ex, Spectre's father. So the four of us went, we had 16th row seats. And when my mother went up to pick up the tickets, the lady said, oh, we had a cancellation. Would you like to a free upgrade? And my mom said, sure. And we ended up with front row center seats, okay? Now, as awesome as that sounds, after seeing that, doing that show, and that was probably my, probably like my third or fourth Alice concert, and after sitting that front row, I've never wanted to sit front row again because Alice puts on a stage show and when you're in the front and you're so close, you can't view everything as well as you can if you're back a little. Like we're going to see him in August and I think I'm row 20, 21, somewhere around there, which I'm fine with because then I can see the whole stage. I kind of like when he plays places that have like a terrace because then I'll get up in uh, a terrace not a terrorist, a terrorist. And I like those because then I'll get my tickets up there and I usually get front row up there. Even though it's not front row, it's front row right there. But either way, I, I have seen both these guys, love both these guys. I do have videos coming out with my top 10 favorite songs. Alice's is done, Ozzy I'm struggling with because a lot of his music is copyrighted and doesn't want to let me use it. Well, how I can't just pick anything, I picked my top 10. All right, but anyways, let me know what you think down below now that I've sat here and rambled and you've probably turned off the video anyways. If you made it to this part, hashtag one of their names down below and use the word concert in your comment. So hashtag whoever you like better, just so I know, and use the word concert, but don't hashtag concert. That way, anybody that didn't get this far isn't just trying to guess what they were supposed to put in that comments in case there was a giveaway, right? But don't forget, leave that comment, get entered in a giveaway, stick around, check out my Patreons. They get something every month. This giveaway though, they would have to enter because it is just a single video giveaway. But don't forget, they get tons of giveaways a month and they get a giveaways just for them. Plus they get something in the mail every single month. So don't forget, until next time, keep on rocking.